Hey, it's a sunny February. Our freeze is over and I'm at my favorite store getting ready to work on my next project, a wind catcher. Hey everybody. What in the world am I doing right here in the middle of this field? What is that? This is a wind catcher, sort of. So I've got a bucket with a slot caught in the cut in the back. Going down to a pipe, feeding into the back side of the prepper mobile. And if you look at these flags, the wind is blowing this direction. Here is the outlet pipe. And here's my little wind gauge. And look at that. I have wind airflow coming in the opposite direction against the wind. 2.8 miles an hour, one mile an hour. So I am capturing the wind coming from that way, and rerouting it to blow in from the opposite direction. Now, why would I want to do that? What, what's the point of that when I could just open that window? Well, what if I was in a camper that didn't have windows on that side? Or what if I was in a really dusty environment and there was dirt and stuff blowing that I didn't want to necessarily have blown into my house or my car or my RV? With this, that dust and dirt that's in the air will fall, uh, you know, in the bottom of the bucket and hopefully not be blown all the way through. But really this is for redirecting the wind if you have a situation where you physically can't get it coming from the other direction. Think of a house that was built with its windows or a, a flat wall facing against the prevailing winds. So this allows me to turn, and if the wind shifts coming from the other direction, I can just turn my rig and capture the wind from that direction or that direction just by shifting it. And I can reroute, reroute it and get airflow coming from any which way that I want without having to reposition my vehicle or reposition my house. Let's get a better look. This is literally a five gallon bucket from Home Depot with a slot cut out of the back. And this is a four inch PVC that's cut in half. So that way it mates up against the back side of the bucket. This is a four to three inch adapter which perfectly fits dryer hose. And there's my outtake. So the air comes in this way, hits that slot and goes down. And it's 50 bucks worth of parts because the price of PVC is astronomical right now but uh, pretty simple. And I just have it bolted to my DJ speaker stand. The higher up in the air you can get this thing, the better because the prevailing winds are greater higher up. But with the wind blowing that way, I can route the output airflow whatever direction I want.